It's time, guys. It's time. All right. We're going to open one rare card, and then we're going to play GTA. Uh, play the DBZ game. Uh, I mean, I've seen a lot of people playing it. Is it... Uh... I know it's like sort of a fighting game. I don't really know much about it though. Is it like something I really want to play or level 63? Dude, I played a lot. I've been, uh, I'm still not fully healed though, guys. Not gonna lie. I have like, I don't know. My face is kind of red, but surely it gets better. Anyway, plan is we open one singular rare card and then we, uh, we wake up in GTA. That's the plan. Um, let's see, can I ask you why you're back on Twitch? Uh, because my contract with YouTube was done a bit ago, and, uh, I figured I'd just rather be on Twitch. I, I feel like, um, I think YouTube is a better video site, and Twitch is a better streaming site. And I think I've just always preferred being a streamer. Um, not that anything's wrong with being a videoer, but yeah, pretty much that's it. Um, but yeah, no tables. That's a good strat for this game. Dude, I'm min-maxed in this game. If you guys want to see how to min-max, look at my shop level. Look at my money. This is how you min-max. Actually, these uh, cards are actually not efficient. The reason I do this is because I don't want to pick the cards up myself. Uh, so I have these cards here just so that my restockers will stock it so I can grab them easily. But the actual min-max is sell whatever your best box is. Um, on these wider shelves. I uh, have two cashiers, everyone else restocking, I think. Um, and then just open packs. And the proof is there, guys. We're shop level 63. We have over a million dollars. So, it's looking pretty good. I think the only upgrade we could do is to upgrade these two packs, uh, which would be nice, but that's more of a quality of life thing than anything else. Um... Can I pay bills? Yep. Uh, can I upgrade? 65 is the last one. And then we're maxed out. Anyway, um, yeah, we're pretty close to maxed out, guys. Okay, what do we need? We need one, two, four, maybe six. Maybe like 12 more of these. Let my guys fill it up. All of these, and then, like, usually I buy, like, a hundred of these, but since we have cards, maybe we don't have to. I should start making, like, actual storage so it's not as crowded. Um. Okay. Technically, we lost money, but that's not a concern, guys. We're, we got over a million bucks now. Alright, time to open a ton of packs and see what we get. What's the binder value? Oh, it's pretty high. It's 228,000. What is that thing? Alright, let me show you some new stuff we got, guys. Um, we got... Holy Jesus! That's worth $5,700. 4,200. 4,100. A couple other rare ones. Got a... Uh... I don't even know what this Galarian Moltres. We got some expensive cards. Check these ones. We got two of these apparently. Two Pre Marina full arts. We got this Biga Chow. We got this guy, that guy. We got a lot of good cards. Got a lot of good cards. Um we'll save the ghost cards for later though. Anyway, let's open a ton of packs and see if we get one rare one before we, uh, before we go. Now, I'm gonna set the cutoff to, like, something a little lower, you know? Maybe, like, 3,000? I think anything over 3,000 is pretty expensive. Um, you'll get it in five minutes for sure. I sure hope so. Let's, uh, let's make sure we've got everything here. Let's, let's restock our smell machines. And now for the turbo opening. Let's open the store. Guys, this is going to be cooked, but this is it's just the best way to do it. I'm going to grab all that. More of this. More of that. We're going to get something. 
We gotta get something here. Okay, looks good. Looks good. Uh, and then grab all this. Alright, we got 800 packs. We're gonna get something. We have to. I'm gonna go crawl on the roof. Now, some say the roof is the good luck spot. Some say the roof is the good luck spot. We'll see. How much value are we shooting for now? We're just going to open these packs, see how it goes, and wake up in GTA. But I will show you my ultra rare cards that I got. Oh my god, my eyes. Guys, this is, this is how you know it's bad, because I'm like desensitized to this. This looks normal to me now. I can't imagine it being slower than this. But I will say, I'm at the end of this game. Like, we're almost done with it, you know? I feel like we are close to the end of the game. I don't see us playing much more outside of getting, like, I don't know, a 20k card or something. But, um... But yeah, it feels like playing 2x speed in Star Rail, and you're just, you're just used to this now. Oh, guys, you know what I was going to do yesterday? I'm going to switch to Dragonov for my Tekken main. I've realized I can't learn two fighting games. So, instead of sticking to harder-to-play characters, I'm just going to play my main character in Street Fighter. And then, I'm just going to switch to Dragonov in Tekken and accept that he's the best character ever. You know what I mean? No, Dragonov is toxic. I mean, he's just good. He's just good, guys. Isn't Dragonov the best character? And he's like, he's not easy, easy to play, but he's easier to play. No chance for Azucena again? We could, but why play Azucena? Why play anybody when you could play Dragonov? You know what I mean? Isn't Azucena easy to use? I mean, I'm sure she is, but she ain't Dragonov, that's for sure. Um... I feel like Dragonov is kind of seen as the best one. Um, so, there's a new fighting game, Sparking Zero. I saw that. I kind of wanted to try it, but I I wasn't sure. And I feel like at this point, I'm behind. You know, it came out yesterday, right? And everyone's playing. I'm already way too behind. It's over. And I don't even know what exactly the game is. Is it, is it like a story mode game? Because I was watching it a little bit yesterday, and it kind of looked like a story mode game, but kind of not exactly. I That's only early access. Who? How, how do you get early access? I didn't get that. It comes out in two days. Oh my god. It's like Budokai Tenkaichi. Oh, so it is, it is kind of like a story game, because I remember playing that. It was, it was a pretty fun game. I remember, like, doing a bunch of stuff to unlock special abilities and all that. But... Seizure warning. Is it that bad, guys? It's bad. I've gotten desensitized to it. This just looks normal to me. But I was playing, like, all day yesterday. We can cover it up. We can cover it up. Um, let's do a little... Let's do a little GeoGuessr. Alright, so it will pause whenever we get to a card that is worth over... You know, let's set it to a thousand dollars. It'll pause at any card worth over a thousand dollars. You won't see the card because we'll be playing GeoGuessr. Um, how do I do ranked? All right, and then when it pauses, we'll look at the card and just see what we get. This is the meta, guys. This is the meta. Look at my money. Look at my shop le level. Do you guys doubt my success in TCG Simulator now? I'm insane, I tell you. I'm, in I'm next level in this game. Nobody does it like me. I'm just kidding. Some people probably do. But, uh... You can see how many packs we got left. We got 470 packs left. Uh, we got 1.2 million dollars. If only it was the same IRL. Dude, I wish I had 1.2 million dollars. I'm just kidding. Anyway. Come on, where's this Q-ton? Dang, this guy's high rank. Uh-oh. Okay. You do? No, guys, I lost it all. This looks like Mexico City. I'm not even gonna look around. I'm not even gonna... This looks like Mexico City to me. Wait, is that a European license plate? Uh-oh. 
Um, wait, I think that's a European license. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, I was pretty... He got it exactly? Okay, well, we're about to lose. Um... Okay, this seems, um... Uh, I think it's Spain. Oh, dude, there's an ocean right there. I didn't look around. Oh, my God. It's probably, like, here. I think it's Spain, but it's probably, like, here or, or there. Ah, okay. I mean, I wasn't too far off. Unfortunately, we lost. First game of the day. First game of the day. Did you watch HCS this year? Dude, I don't even know what HCS is. Uh, I didn't watch it any... I don't think I ever watched it any year. I, I don't know what that is. Is that League of Legends? Um, guys, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're getting a rare card. Like, it really seems as though we aren't. Uh, this does look like it's by the ocean, but... Plastic code... It does look like it's by the... Dude, what if it's just around here again? Um, dude, there's no way we open 800 packs and don't get anything rare. Surely we get something in the last 200 packs. Okay, I wasn't super far off, but I don't know how I was supposed to get that. How does this guy know? Guys, I swear, only the sweatiest players are left in GeoGuessr. I'm convinced. I'm just convinced that, that there's no casuals left. HR. Is that hung Hungary? Let's see. European license plate, HR. That's got to be Hungary, right? What else has an H and an R in it? Okay, it's... HR is Croatia? There isn't an H in it at all. I mean, there's an R in it, I guess, but... Huh. Didn't see that one coming. I, I did not think HR was Croatia. Psych, why don't you move around in this game? I don't know. I don't like moving around. You definitely can, but it's just not what I prefer. Uh, I just wish I could... Reserve. Dude, this is some fancy French stuff if I ever seen it. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Is that French? Dude, I don't think that's French, actually. That is definitely not... Wait, is it? Oh, it was Pragway. Okay. That was a good try. Guys, we got 120 packs left, and I don't think we're getting it. I'll be honest. I, uh... We got 120 packs left. I don't think we're getting it. Oh, wow. This place looks nice. Look at that building. Uh, European license plates. I mean... I'm just gonna guess Denmark, and that's... I mean, I, I don't really know. I, uh... hmm. What on earth is going on here? I'm opening packs, Mion. Look. Oh, dude, he thought it was the US. So I'm opening packs, and it'll automatically pause if I hit a card over $1,000. And then we reveal it to chat by unhiding this. Park close to the public. DNV Park. Wait, this actually does kind of look like the Pacific Northwest. Dude, that that truck? Yeah, that's that's the Pacific Northwest. I think. You've already won. You don't need to open more packs. Hold on, Myung. Let me let me show you something. Let me finish this GeoGuessr match and let me show you something crazy. Let me show you something crazy as to how much I've been playing this game. Dude thought it was Australia? Oh my god. It actually was, yeah, Pacific Northwest. Not too far off. Hey, we won. Nice. Alright, let me let me show you something. First of all, Myung, you gotta open packs on the roof. Holy Jesus, why does it look like that? Anyway, you open the packs on the roof. And then, let's see if we got anything rare. Okay, we got, uh, let's check the Tetramons. Let, let me show you all the cards I got. We got Arceus, $5,700. We got Cinderace, 
We got Feraligator, Skeledurge, Duwat, Primarina, Galarian Moltres, $3,000. All these things. The little Chester Cheeto guy. Um, okay, those aren't even expensive, but... You see that binder value? You see that binder value? And check this out. Level 2. We got two of these. Two Primarinas. We got the Bigachow V-Star. We got Zab Zamazenta, this thing. Decidueye, Samurott, that guy, this guy, this, that dude. And let's not forget the final one, guys. The final one. Now keep in mind, I am never playing this game again after this. After I show you this, guys, know that I will never be playing this game as long as I live because I've wasted way too much time on it. But let me show you the ghost cards. All right? The ghost cards, guys. How much do you guys think we have in ghost cards? What do you think our most expensive card is now? Let me show you. Let me show you. Because it's right here. Look at that. Sort by price. Sort by price. Dude, look at this Greninja. Wait, it's only worth $400? Why is that only worth $400? It looks insane. Look at that guy. Unfortunately, none of these are holographic. They're not worth much. Same with this guy. None of these are holographic, so none of them are worth that much. Except for, you see those top three. These are all holographic. Look at how much they're worth. $12,000 Ground On Full Art the Legendary Foil. And then... $13,000... Pomo Vistar. I don't know why Pomo is worth more than Ground On, but it's worth 13000 And then our rarest card ever, the Foil Rayquaza. $13,000. Our most expensive card yet. Our most expensive card yet, guys. And that's it. I'm never playing this game again. Don't get used to it. I feel like we've completed the game. I'm level 170. I have 1.2 million dollars. Uh, I'd say we've beaten the game, right? I'd say we've beaten the game. There's not much else, much else for us to do here. Am I right? Uh, but there's one thing we can't. My phone's broken. Oh, there's one thing we can do as the final thing, guys. Let's get a little card display. Where is it? Um, should we get a big one or a small one? We should get a big one just to be extra. All right. Let's go put that down somewhere. Put it all the way at the back of the store. Actually, we'll put it in our secret room over here. Now, we got to let the customer see it, right? We got to let the customer see it. There we go. Start the next day. $55,000 in profits. Um, I think we need a few boxes and like one, two, three, a bunch of those. Okay. Um, just get a, a couple of boxes. Uh, and like, we need like 12 of these maybe. All right, this is it, guys. We've beaten the game now. Our most expensive cards, the Rayquaza. Put it right there in the middle. And then the Ground On, I know, is less expensive, but it looks rare. So put it there. The Palmo V-Star. There it is. The three most expensive cards we got. I bet you won't find a 20k card. I bet I won't either, because there is no planet I'm ever playing this again. Listen, I'm shop level 63. I have $1.2 million. I'm on day 171. I don't, I don't think we play this game anymore. We've maxed out. We've just maxed out, guys. There's nothing else to do. We would just be farming cards for the sake of farming fake cards. And what's the point in that? What's in here? Nothing? Stay out of my store, you stinky. 15k is possible. 
I mean, it's definitely possible, guys, but, like, there's just no point. We've beaten the game. Look at our rare cards. This, These three cards are worth, like, f almost 40,000 on their own, right? So, I mean, I think we're good. I think we're good, guys. There's no point anymore. We've beaten the game, and the game's been defeated. We're done. We're going to save here. Hold on. Let me pay my employees their last paycheck. Here you go, guys. Final paycheck, $8,000. That's all you get. Never ask me for anything again. Um, that's it. One, two, three. One, three, two, three. What a crazy number to end on. Wait, is that rigged? What are the chances that one, two, three, one, three, two, three, zero, zero? That's insane that it ended up perfect like that. But that's it, guys. We've beaten the game. We got $40,000. We got expensive cards. Our book is worth 19000 now. Oh, wait. Is it only for... It's only for... Wait, our whole book is worth like... This is worth 200 something thousand. This is worth 300 something. Our whole book is worth like over half a mil. Oh, my God. I didn't know it was separated like that. Okay. Um, yeah, let's, that's it, guys. I'm never playing this. I'm uninstalling this game. It's, it's done. We've beaten it. 